Hi everyone, today we're looking at Lucid Trips. Uh, this is an early access game, it's about £6 on uh, Steam at the moment. Um, obviously for uh, VR, uh, I'm using the HTC Vive today. Um, I've, I've played this game a little bit and it's it's definitely worthy of, of, of having a look at. So I wanted to just walk through it a little bit and you can see a little bit of the gameplay footage and go from there. But I'm quite excited to see where this game's going to go. So first off, calibrate, set my height. Five foot ten. Press my menu button. So as I've done the tutorial and these sorts of bits, I'm just going to go straight into a, a basic mode. Okay, so now I'm in the game, it's asking me to calibrate. Because this game is a standing game only, it's not designed for um, actually moving around the room. And part of the reason for that is the way they've done their motion sickness detection. So I'm just going to... It says, look straight, press the menu button. So There we go. Lovely. So I've managed to get the hands the wrong way around, so I'll just swap my controllers. Common issue I've seen in, uh, in games. Steam really needs to have a way built in, I think, of swapping hands around. So, uh, you can see around me this rather strange environment, but we'll leave that for the moment. Um, what I have is, if you see, if I'm, I'm looking down here, you've got this fixed position that you're standing in, so you're never supposed to move from this spot, even turn. The idea is that if you want to turn, you've got to turn the character, and that's all part of the way that they reduce motion sickness. Um, I think some of the other things they've done is the fact that it doesn't feel like these are my hands they're in front of me so it's kind of like i'm controlling someone else that must must have some sort of psychological effect of, of reducing the sickness as well um but the idea these hands are your way your way of uh, moving around if i just use my wrist i can turn around on the spot you can just about see in the video i'm guessing the black rims that come around the edge and the, the idea behind that is every time you move um, it reduces the, the FOV, um, which is a, a known method for reducing sickness, but what they've done quite well is they've made it dynamic. Um, so you don't even notice it massively, but I can play this game without any sort of um, sickness at all for quite a while, um, which will be quite surprising when you consider what you do. So I, yeah, I'll just use my hands here, and it's kind of, kind of like a low gravity environment, and I can scramble forward. It feels a little bit odd, I'm not going to lie, because because of the low gravity, you can't really properly scramble, because you have to wait to fall a bit before you can do it. But you soon get the hand of it, where you can just start pushing off, and you can see there, um, you basically end up um, uh, flying, and you can push off using uh, both hands or one hand. Um, I'll just cut through here, and in fact, if you want to drop, you just cross your arms and it drops you down quicker. But where it gets fun is if you take both hands, I mean, you can do it with one, and you just slam them down towards the ground. So I'm going to do that, and then once I get up there, I'm just going to hold my arms out like a plane, and then pulling the trigger moves the jet around and now I'm flying. Now I've just run out of fuel there because there's a finite level of fuel um, but I can kind of coast like this for quite a while so I can hover but I'm, you know it would take me a long time even to get over to that tree and from this point I'd probably just cross my arms and uh, drop down um, because then I need to recharge my flying capacity so you can see there my hand just touching the ground just recharges it doesn't take long um, and to be honest, I, I feel like it could do with a bit more on the fuel side. Uh, it, it doesn't seem to last long enough. Um, but I imagine that sort of stuff could be dependent on all sorts of things. You can see if you hit something hard, the field of view really comes in quickly um, to kind of limit that feeling of nausea as well. Um, you know, this this is probably the closest I've ever felt to flying in a virtual reality game without any level of motion sickness. It is an absolutely astounding method of walking around. Um, you know, it's just, it's just brilliant. I mean, frankly, if you took something like Old Space VR and gave it this methodology of moving around, um, it would, you know, you could spend hours in that environment doing all sorts of things. So the real issue with it really is, is there's no real game here. There's a the, the, the couple of the, the the sections it gets you to kind of you have to hunt out an egg and then you've got to collect the egg and then go to another spot and plant it it's pretty boring um, and the the kind of the multiplayer aspect at the moment is kind of like a hide-and-seek so someone's hidden it somewhere and it's whoever can find 
the thing on the map the quickest. Also pretty damn boring if you ask me. But the, where I'm excited to see where this game goes is just is just the potential because it's, it's a beautiful landscape. The control mechanism is just an absolute delight and a little trippy. Um, but at the moment, I would say this is this is a tech demo, and I if if people come around to try my VR, I will always make sure they try this. And I've not had a single person that has said that a they were felt sick um, or that they didn't like it. They really liked it. So I'm excited to see where they can go with a bit more creativity. Because um, as you can see, this is a lot of fun. So so it's kind of up to you if you're looking for. Six, if six quid's not a lot to you, support the devs and see where they're going to go with it. But, but if you're expecting to get more than um, half an hour to an hour's worth of play in its current state, there you go, there's a crystal there that needs collecting, um, then you might be disappointed. Um, personally, I'd like to see where this can go, so I would encourage you to go out and buy it. Um, there's not a massive amount of good VR content, in my opinion, at the moment. So when you see little gems like this, you kind of want to see them flourish. Um, so yeah, I hope that helps.